This video is going to walk you through how you can export a Power BI report to Excel or CSV using our PBRS software. From the PBRS home screen, I'm going to select on Single for Power BI. This is going to bring up the scheduling wizard where I select my Power BI account, determine if it's a report or a dashboard, select my workspace that my report is located in, and then select the report. I'm going to go ahead and rename this schedule. Click on Next. This is then the scheduling wizard. I'm just going to set this to a default time of 9 a.m. daily. And then I've got my settings. These default settings work really well for Power BI reports. I'm going to leave my default settings and click on Next. This brings you then to your report filters. If you have a report filter you want to use, like a date, you can use that as a basic filter. You do also have an option for advanced filters. These filters work just like they do in, um, in Power BI. I'm going to go ahead and click Next since I don't have any filters I want to use and then select my email destination. Here I'm going to go ahead and enter in my email address and then basically create my template that I need. Under the naming I am going to go ahead and customize this output and use what we call a constant and I've got a current date here. This way my output file name will always have the current date when that report was ran. I'm then going to go back to the Format tab and this is where I'm going to go ahead and select Excel, specifically for data only. What this is now going to do is go back to Power BI and grab all of those visuals on my Power BI report. Once all the visuals have been brought back from Power BI, you'll notice that the Add button is now available. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and you'll see this big note in yellow here that PBRS can only interact with visuals that have titles. So any visuals that you want to bring back and export to Excel, you will need to make sure to have a title on it. So these are the current visuals that I have titles on, and I'm going to go ahead and select one of the visuals that I want, and I'm going to select Summary Data. I am going to go ahead and add another visual that I want the actual data to be exported into Excel, and I want the underlying data, not just the summary data. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on OK, and I'm going to go ahead and add a disk destination and bring this into a folder. Just so you can see, um, if you want to use Excel under the format, you will select CSV. You'll notice this will then go back and grab the report visuals as well. Once the report visuals have been brought back from Power BI, you'll have the ability to click on Add. And again, the same thing with Excel. You will need to make sure that the titles uh, for the visuals you want are available. I'm going to click on a different visual and I'm going to select underlying data and hit OK. What you'll notice with the CSV options, you do have the ability to select a different type of character or delimiter. I'm going to leave them at its default and I'm going to go ahead and change out this name as well. And for purposes of showing the output file, I'm going to go ahead and name it CSV at the end. And now I've got my two destinations. From there, you have your exception handling, which you can leave at its default, and a list of custom tasks if there's any additional tasks that you want to run before or after the Power BI report is run within the PBRS software. I'm going to click on Finish, and that is how you schedule your Power BI report to export to an Excel or CSV format. Once the home page has refreshed, I can simply right click and execute my Power BI report. Once the schedule completes, which it just did, and I just received my email, let me bring this over and I'm going to open up the Excel file that I had created two visuals, one with summarized or summary data and the other with the underlying data. Perfect. And you'll see here I've got two separate tabs, which are the title of each visual that I had requested the summarized data 
And in this case, on the second tab, I requested the underlying data. So I've got a lot more data here to look at and review. I'm going to go ahead and close this and I should have in my disk destination a CSV file, which I'm now going to open up. Let me close out of here. Now, by default, my machine does open CSV files in Excel. Now, because it is opening up in Excel, my data should be fairly plain text. And here it is. So this is the formatting for CSV plain text. Um, and the data is listed here. And I did select the underlying data, which is why I've got a lot more data to look at here. And this is how you schedule and run a Power BI report and export it to Excel and a CSV format.